Hello there, I am Giant Crow with my Pokemon Yellow. In the last part we got here, I already couldn't back to the Seafoam Mountains from the north side, the north of Seafoam Islands, the northern Seafoam Islands, I guess you should say. And we took on uh, this water route south of uh, Fusia. I don't remember the route numbers, so I'm going to have to put it up on screen right now as a text overlay. So yeah, we have Articuno right here, we moved all the boulders. You need basically just need strength and surf to get Articuno, because you need surf to get uh, two Articuno, of course, to the Seafoam Mountains. And then you also need to surf around here, like around this water. And then um, you also need strength to move boulders down into certain holes. And I showed the puzzle in the last part. So if you're stuck, just watch the last part where I solved the puzzle and just use strength like crazy and move boulders into holes. Because that's what stops the water from flowing, the water currents from pushing you out away from uh, Articuno. But when you have enough boulders, you should uh, just be able to surf there and um, get to Articuno like I did in the, in the last part. So yeah, so I have Storm up front because it's Thunder Wave and I want to try paralyzing this thing. So it'll actually have um, a better chance of catching it. I have a 25 Pokeballs, 25 Ultra Balls, 10 Great Balls, and 11 Pokeballs. So we should be good on Pokeballs, at least for Articuno. So without the, with all that said, let's talk to it. And my phone kind of dinged right there, as you may have heard. <laughs> yeah. Gaiu, I can't even pronounce the, I can't speak Articuno or Zapdos or Moltres, you know, because I probably mispronounced that word or whatever, that cry. But yeah, let's take Articuno on. Yeah. Articuno has a weird sprite in this game, but that's okay. Articuno is level 50, awesome. Okay, so let's go for the Thunder Wave, which is right here, actually, cool. The third wave hits, awesome, nice. So maybe it'll be full of powers on its first turn. Nope, of course not, let's Ice Beam. Of course, Ice Beam is like the one attack you have to worry about, really. Ice Beam, wow, one HP. Jeez. Jeez. I don't know if I want to heal, I mean, I was just going to probably use Thunderbolt. But still, yeah. Pack, it's going to use Pack to Faint Storm, of course. Storm kind of went down hard. Okay. I'm sorry, Pikachu. I'm sorry, Storm. Okay, so I'm going to go to Tabasco because I know Tabasco probably resists Ice Beam. <laughs> yeah. So let's go to Tabasco. And this is take one, by the way. Okay, so let's go for this Ember, I guess. Let's see what an Ember does. It's going to be super effective. I don't want to go out Flamethrower because that'd be kind of stupid, but yeah. And since it's already paralyzed, it can't get burned, so that's good. Because burn and poison. Don't try to burn a poison this Pokemon on purpose because it'd be bad. Wait, it's neutral. Oh, it's super effective because Tabasco's flying type. Shoot. Jeez. Okay, this Icon is already being a pain in the butt. Oh, almost okay, so Lavender's ground half ground type. Brute's half grass type. Brute okay, uh, Gamma or Grumpy? Uh, let's go for Gamma, I guess. Jeez, I forgot that. Like. It's so little about like, oh, if it's half type, if it's just half of a Pokemon type, it has a weakness to like, for example, you know, Charizard's fire flying. So it's, ha it's half weak to, um, it's, sh it's super effective actually. It's a, uh, ice types are basic, ice type moves like ice beam or cell, they are super effective. Even because it's half flying type, but it's not even neutral. Because in later games, it's neutral because, you know, Charizard's fire and flying. But in this game, they take it so little in being so picky with half, even the half types, you know? If if your Pokemon is weak to move, even if it's even be, if it's super effective, uh, if it, I don't I'm not explaining like since Charizard was you know half flying type, Ice Beam was super effective because Ice is super effective against flying type Pokemon. Ah, that's just a big pain in the butt. Let's use Ice Beam on itself. It's probably gonna be super effective. Jeez. Nope, it's good. Yeah, it's super effective. Okay, cool. It's four powers. Though. Cool. It's, we got in the red, though. We got in the red. So let's start chucking Ultra Balls at it. We're not going to use the Master Ball on it, though. And sometimes it miss the Pokemon. Yeah, like that one. In, in, in Red Bull and Yellow, they, sometimes your Pokeball can miss the Pokemon, which kind of sucks. It missed the Pokemon. Yeah, this sucks. At least in Fire and Leaf Green, it had a chance, like, every single time to shake once. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but there's a better, I think there's a fast, I think that you can catch these Pokemon faster though if you have a Sass condition like I do and if it's in the red health. So hopefully one of these will actually hit it and then maybe it'll go on 2 or 3 and we catch it. That'd be nice. Four powers, okay good. Just another Ultra Ball. Nope, it missed the Pokemon, of course it did. He's pecking on us, okay that's not the worst, the least of our worries. Okay that's the least of our worries I should say. So I'm gonna heal up actually. So let's see here, let's use the Hyper Potion on Gamera. Nice. 
Let's get ice beam on us, okay. It's not so bad, right? Yeah, okay, it's not very effective. Good. I like how it's not very effective. Let's go for the Ultra Ball. Don't we miss the Pokemon, of course. I bet one of these will be really close to catching it though. Ice Beam Critical at Jeez. Come on, I should have healed there actually. Don't miss the Pokemon. Let's get Ice Beam again. Okay, finally use another Hyper Potion. Yeah, there we go, nice. Floor Power is good. No, no, the Hyper Potion, sorry. I meant to use the Ultra Ball. Oh, there we go, nice. Missed the Pokemon. <sighs> this is very frustrating, you know, but oh well, it's part of the game, I guess. You know how this works. Oh, at least I hope you do, if you play the older Pokemon games. Missed the Pokemon, yep. There we go, we caught it, nice. So we used it. Yeah, see, like, when it actually hits the Pokemon, it's actually a good chance of catching it, like, right there. Perfect example. Alright, our Kuna was caught. Yay, we caught on the first take. Awesome. Yeah, new Pokemon, when new Pokemon, deck, new Pokedex data was, will be added for Articuno. Yeah, Articuno has a freeze Pokemon. It's, it's, it's five feet seven inches tall. I'm, I'm, my, I, my height is five feet seven inches tall if I'm wearing shoes. If I'm not wearing shoes, if I'm just wearing socks or barefoot, I'm five foot six and a half. <laughs> Articuno is, uh, number 144 in the Pokedex. Its weighs 122 pounds. A legendary bird Pokemon. It, it freezes water that it, uh, contain, that is contained in the winter air and makes it snow, makes it snow. That's cool. I'll give it to Articuno, um, Let's name this Articuno. Uh, this is a really bad nickname, but I'm gonna name it Freezer. And I'm probably gonna misspell it too, but oh well. Freezer. Freezer, there we go, nice. Freezer was transferred to Bill's PC. Cool. Let's use an escape rope. Yes, we're actually gonna use an escape rope. <laughs> uh, let's use an escape rope. We have like five of them, right? Yeah, we have, we have six of them. Wow, okay. Use an escape rope. Nice, we're gonna spin our way out of here. Too bad Pikachu fainted there. Oh wait, we all we go back to the Pokemon Center. That's actually very convenient. Haha. <laughs> it's funny, let's heal up our Pokemon. Do 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 Nice. We hope to see you again. Cool, thanks. Okay. Is there any items I want to deposit just off the top of my head? I want to buy some more. Do I want to buy... Wait, hold on. Ultra Balls. We have 13 left. Okay, that should be good enough for Z Zapdos too. If not even Moltres, if we get very lucky with that. I'm going to buy like three more Hyper Potions off screen. Um, yeah. Or maybe I'll do it on screen actually, because this is actually your sort part so far. Okay, so this builds PC. Um, let's check it out. Um, I think I have to deposit a Pokemon though, because there's no move Pokemon where you can see it without having to deposit Pokemon. So let's deposit, um... I guess Gamera, I guess. Oh, wait, hold on, withdraw Pokemon, and then we can, we can actually just tell it's by its uh, stats. Yeah, there we go, nice. So here's Freezer. I don't know why it's not full healed if it went to the PC, but, well, it's attack. Okay, so Freezer is level 50 right now. It has 159 HP right now. It's uh, Ice and Flying type. Um, it's attack, it's number 44 in the Pokedex, like I said before. Um, it's attack is 101, it's defense is 105, it's speed is 96, and it's special is 144. 141, my bad. Misread that for a second. And all we know is Peck and Ice Beam. Jeez, slow 50 though. How does it not know 4 moves? <laughs> That's odd. I thought it knew at least 3 or 4 moves. I guess this is Gen 1, so it's different. I guess it's going off that one Pokemon, uh, book that, uh, said that it knows Peck and Ice Beam as it, like, when it comes back. So I think I'm gonna foreshadow here and say that, uh, you know, I think that, uh, I think Zapdos might only know Thundershock and Peck as well. Maybe Thundershock and Drill Peck. I don't know. But hopefully I can find that book I was talking about. Like, I'd, I'd, I'd recognize the cover if I saw it. But it was basically, a, uh, it gave you trainer tips and stuff on certain Pokemon. And it showed all the Pokemon. It showed, f uh, Pokemon from Bulbasaur all the way to Mew. Which was pretty cool. It had a poster too. <laughs> so hopefully I can find that book and put like a little ping image, PNG image of it on screen right now or something like that. Maybe it's been on screen. Hopefully I can find it. If not, I'll put a text over say I couldn't find it. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, it's known techniques actually said uh, that it uh, knew Peck and Ice Beam. So maybe it's going off of that. 
because it's Gen 1. I don't know. I could be wrong. Yeah. So yeah, let's go, um, withdraw, uh, uh, Gamma Ray. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, yeah. Gamma is taken out. Cool, we got Gamma Ray. Nice. And just to make sure I don't have any items I want to put on the PC, I'm just gonna check again. Okay, don't. Cool. And that Gamma's at the bottom. Good. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna buy some Hyper Potions. And I think I can buy Hyper Potions in Fusion City, Cinnabar, uh, Island, and I think that's about it for Hyper Potions. And same with Ultra Balls too. We may be able to get Ultra Balls in uh, Saffron City, but I'm not sure. City. And of course you can get the Pokemon, them at the Pokemon League, I guess, because it's like the best place to shop if you don't want to go fight a certain town, you know. So here's the Mart right here. I may have showed it off, I may have not by now, but yeah. Let's uh buy, let's buy um, three Hyper Potions, I guess. There we go, nice. That's all I want, so yeah, we'll, next, Zapdos is up next, and uh, Zapdos is um, at level um 50 as well, and uh, she, it's at the power plant, which is uh, east of uh, that one route near Rock Tunnel. So yeah, let's go to Tabasco, fly there. Why would you town? So I guess I can fly to Suwon City. Wait, can we fly to, can we fly to Rock Tunnel? I don't think we can. Cause that's where, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get Parasail the pieces so I can just cut on that bush. Jeez, fine. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's go back to where um that bush was, which is west of that one route. That's uh before Rock Tunnel. Yeah, we we can actually just uh go through this house again. We'll just go this way, I guess. So there we go. Nice. And we can use cut on this bush right here right here there we go nice so let's use Paris's cut attack or cut technique and there we go nice I think I want to hop on my bicycle to go a little bit faster honestly nice okay And there we go, I can actually put Paris back in the, this PC because there's a Pokemon Center right here. So I'll be right back and get Gamera out because we need Surf. You, the only the tech HM you'll need to get Zapdos is uh, Surf, so yeah. Okay, so let's Surf down this river you see right here. So that's where we where the power point is really, so let's use a Repel too. But not yet because we're going to get our bucks worth for the Repels. Now we can use one, but first I want to Surf on a Gamera. Use Surf on Gamera. There we go. Nice. So, uh, yeah, let's use, um, a repel. We have 15 superpowers after this, cool. Nice. And there's one trainer down here, too, by the way. I think we might want to switch Pokemon, because I think he has a Rhyhorn or something. A Lavender, um, let's switch to... Let's switch to Lavender, I guess. There we go, that's one trainer right here, of course. Wow, are you a Pokemaniac too? Want to see my collection? Sure, why not? Why not, man? Sounds like fun. Pokemaniac wants to fight, cool. Pokemaniac sent out right one. Okay, yeah, I was right. So, yeah. Let's go for the double kick, I guess. This right one's level 30, so that's pretty cool. Okay, it's gonna probably hang on by the skin of its teeth. Yeah, of course. Okay, whatever. It's gonna horn attack on us, okay? Let's go for another double kick then. Nice. Look at Tongue, cool. We'll stay in. Look at Tongue's level 30. Jeez, this tongue is so big. And it looks so big in this. Its sprite looks so big. It's super effective, awesome, nice. Because the double kick is fine type. Fine type move there, that's awesome. There we go, we defeat Pokemaniac. <laughs> I'm not angry. You mad, bro? Heh <laughs> heh. Next to 1,500 Pokedollars. Right here is the power plant. So yeah. So inside. Let's put Pikachu up front again, I guess. And uh, I don't think we can have a bicycle. I don't think we can, because it's like a building. Yeah, no bikes out here. So um, 
I don't know if maybe I want to save this for the next part or something. I don't know. I might save it for the next part actually. Or do I want to? Um. Hmm. I'm at 17 minutes. Uh. Who this? This isn't decisions. I'll save it till the next part actually. So I'll see you guys right in here, I'll start right here, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, so it's been my Pokemon Yellow, walk the guy part, next part I'll take on this PowerPoint and hopefully take on Zapdos too. So yeah, so it's been Jago again, I would like to wish you again goodbye, and I'll see you guys next part my Pokemon Yellow, walk through guide.